Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my vlog. I'm actually I'm in my room right now. I uh, I actually just did my makeup and I didn't really do my hair. I just kind of took my hair out of its bun. Yeah, I just did my makeup because I was getting ready to shoot an outfit post for my blog and I was like, you know what? I have makeup on now and I need to start filming vlogs. <laughs> so this is kind of my, I don't know, everyday uh, blogging stuff. I have like a blogger face, I feel like, or beauty blogger face, or beauty guru, or YouTuber, or whatever. It's like, your face is like all done, and maybe your hair's done or whatever, but you're just in like a gray t-shirt, and you're just chilling. I don't know. I was playing around with some makeup, and I just thought maybe I would show you some of the stuff I'm playing around with. On my eyes, I actually have my new Kathleen Lights. My makeup table is kind of a mess right now. It's my Where the Light Is by Kathleen Lights by ColourPop. I use these colors on my eyes. This is actually a new, it's a new mascara from CoverGirl that I bought for my Selena Gomez makeup tutorial, which should be already up. And then I have some ColourPop liquid lipsticks and some Milani liquid lipsticks. Because I actually had a request, which I love. I love when you guys give me requests. I had a request from a viewer after I did my liquid lipstick review. And I think I reviewed, like, it was either, I don't know, it was either 10 or 12 liquid lipsticks. And they were the ones that, like, I could find the, like, easily. And I'm sure there are plenty, there are obviously plenty more out there, but... I had a request for a review on a few that I didn't review in that video. One was the ColourPop, and the other one was the Milani, it's the Amore Matte Lip Cream, and which this is limited edition. It was very difficult to get my hands on, and this color is in, this is in Lust. And I'm actually, I'm loving this color right now. It's like, it's, it's mauve pink, but it's not quite brown, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm loving it. The smell is unbelievable. It, it has this like sweet, creamy smell. It just, the smell is unbelievable. These are limited edition though, so I'm really kind of bummed because I feel like if I fall in love with them, I got them in two shades. They were the only two shades that, that were still available on the website. Um, so I don't know. So I'll try these. Maybe I'll try the ColourPop tomorrow and we'll see how that goes. I did also want to talk to you guys about, I don't know if any of you guys are fans of Fashion Police. But I'm a huge fan of Fashion Police, huge fan of Joan Rivers, especially because I'm a stand-up comedian in my, <laughs> I would say in my real life, but that's not really, doesn't get any realer than this, people. But yeah, um, I, I'm a huge fan of Joan Rivers because I feel like she's one of the few comedians that actually combines fashion and comedy, and I just, I love that about her, and being on Fashion Police would be like, a dream job for me. So when Fashion Police kind of fell apart, which if you don't know the story behind that, I'm not going to get into that whole thing, but um, when Joan passed away, which R.I.P. Joan, but it just, I don't know, I wasn't sure if it was going to come back or if it was going to work and, you know, Kathy Griffin took over, which I knew Kathy Griffin was not going to work because I don't know if those of you remember when Joan decided to not be on the red carpets anymore. Kathy Griffin actually took over for her, and she was fired, like, I think after the first red carpet. So, I knew that wasn't going to work. She doesn't know anything about fashion, and I feel like Kathy Griffin was hired to be on the show just to, like, make fun of celebrities. That's what her career was, and then she kind of, like, got all up on her high horse, like, you know, I'm not here to make fun of celebrities. I'm here to talk about the clothes. It's like, you don't know anything about fashion. No, you're here to make fun of celebrities. That's what you do. So, I don't know. I kind of felt a little bit irritated with <laughs> that whole thing. So the show came back um, last night. I watched it last night, which was the VMA episode. And I was really excited. I think Melissa Rivers did an amazing job. I didn't know if she would be good, like kind of filling in for Joan. Um, Cause she's not her mother at, at all, but I feel like she, it's obvious that she's been around her mother and studied her. So she knew, she knows how the show's supposed to be paced. She knows the structure. She knows the setup of jokes. And I really feel, I mean, she totally did her mother proud. And I mean, I love Juliana Rancic. I feel like people are kind of like, yay or nay on her. I love her. I think she's great. I think she's entertaining. I miss George Katsiopoulos on the show, but I'm loving Brad, who is the stylist. I love that they have like a professional stylist on the show. Um, Nene Leakes won me over. Honey, I have all the shoes. Like, Nini won me over 
so excited about Nini. I actually hope she kind of comes back and does regular stuff. She's really funny. I'm really excited that Fashion Police is back, and I really hope it kind of keeps going, maybe at least long enough so maybe I can make an appearance on it. Like, my camera's shaking like crazy. You guys are going to be crazy because I'm like, I get so excited. Like, I'm like, I want, I want to be a guest on that show, and yeah. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about Fashion Police and... If you like the show, if you think it's going to last, if you watched it, the VMA special, what you think about it, I would just, I'd love to hear. So if you're a fashion, if you're a Joan Ranger, then comment below and let me know. I had to share this with you guys. I actually posted an Instagram about Fashion Police last night and how much I love the show. And Mr. Brad Goreski himself liked the photo and the comment and left some kissy faces. I'm like totally fangirling right now, and I'm pretty sure that, yes, Juliana Rancic liked your photo as well. I'm like such a fangirl right now. It is like insane. Oh, I catch my breath. I just ran up the stairs. I, yesterday I went and mailed my giveaway palettes, the palette I was giving away to the winner of my Naked Smoky palette. Melanie, congratulations. I got that in the mail, and I also stopped at my P.O. box and picked up some goodies. I actually was contacted by this company, um, Kate and Chloe VIP, and they're kind of, I guess, like a jewelry box subscription, and I don't know, they wanted to know if I wanted to give it a try and check out some stuff, and <laughs> who doesn't love free stuff? I just thought, I've never done, like, an unboxing, so... We're doing all kinds of stuff today, so I just thought I would do a little unboxing and, I don't know, it's very casual, very, very doers on the rocks, I don't know. <laughs> Bonus if you know what that line is, very casual, very doers on the rocks. If you know what that quote is from, hopefully I got the quote right. If you know what TV show that quote is from, bonus points if you know the episode. One of my favorite shows. So, let's just check out what I got here. This is the box and Chloe VIP. Ooh, very pretty necklace right here. It's like it's got kind of like a turquoise stone in it. I feel like this is very on trend, this stone necklace. Be interesting to see how far, how long that falls on my neck. Ooh, pretty studs. I don't know how close like how detailed my camera can get right now, but, oh, there we go. Ooh, the, I love, the, like, the square cut of these. It's very pretty. Pardon my nails. I haven't actually had time to do my nails. It's actually on my list of things to do today, so. But, yeah, these are pretty. Pretty diamond studs. Very basic. And then they told me that the special gift this month, I guess there's, like, kind of a special gift in each month's box there and this one is supposed to be a set of makeup brushes which I don't know you can never have too many makeup brushes I may have too many but <laughs> you can never have too many makeup brushes this is cool like it's like a satiny interior I'm loving this case right here and we've got this nice set of brushes here that's cool that's like a full set right here it'd be great for travel cute little box. I'm actually, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm actually going to maybe try out the brushes, the necklace. I it will definitely be posting something about this on my blog. So I actually changed my lipstick. I will admit the Milani did hold up, but I have my outfit on for my, let me see if I can do a scan of this. That's a boob shot right there. I have my outfit on to take some outfit photos and I just felt like I needed a brighter lip. So I layered over the Milani color. I layered two different Kat Von D liquid lip colors. Um, Bachelorette and Backstage Bambi. I'm usually pretty good at remembering my lipstick colors. I just layered those because I wanted like a bright pop of lip. And of course, like the lighting is great and it figures my neighbors want to come out and do yard work at this point. So I have like no privacy in my backyard. Part of the problems of living in kind of like a suburban part of the city, highly populated, is you don't get any privacy. I had plenty of privacy during the day today when the lighting was just too bright. So I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna see how if I can get this picture taken for the blog. Actually, it should be up on the blog 
by the time this is filming, so I'll link it below if it actually, if it works out and I get the picture taken, I will do it. But actually, lighting isn't too bad. Maybe we should just do it in here. I probably won't make that face, but anyway. <laughs> So I just woke up and wow, do I look like I just woke up. Woo, look at me. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go for a jog, which I've actually just started getting into. Like I've never been a runner before. This is totally new for me. These are, well, the two reasons why I'm not normally a runner. And uh, let me see if I can show you right here. This is probably the main reason I'm not a, look how freaking big this is. This is my sports bra. Like it's not even right. Like it's not... This could be a hat. I'm not, look, this is like, it fits on my head. Like my, my boobs are as big as my head. I'm wearing a bra. This is ridiculous. But I'm saying this is the reason why i have not normally been a runner. It is, the struggle is real. Everybody's like, oh yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah, you get, you get big boobs. So that's, a, it can be difficult. It makes doing things very difficult. So all you, you know, small chested girls that can just go and like run and jump and whatever, it's, uh, yeah, the struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. We're getting this run started. Whew, I am back from my run, and I'm looking very not glamorous right now. But, uh, yeah, that was a tough one. I actually, I was out for three miles. Probably only ran for, like, two and a half. <laughs> I had to walk the last of it, but I'm home, and the greatest pleasure I have after my walk is walking into my air conditioned house and feeling like it's an ice box. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do some uh, yoga stretches and kind of cool myself down. And then I'm gonna have some breakfast. So I will check in with you guys later in the day. See ya. So I put some makeup on today. I was actually gonna run errands, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because I have like so much work to do on like the blog and the YouTube and everything, so I don't think I'm actually going to be able to run errands today. I actually normally wouldn't have put any makeup on, actually, just for me, like, being around the house. But yesterday I tried my Milani liquid lipstick, and today I wanted to try the ColourPop one, so I just put on the ColourPop, and I, I could have tested the lipstick without any other face makeup on, and I have very little, but... I just, I don't know. I'm like, if I'm going to test the lipstick, I feel like I have to have something else on my face. This shade is in... Clueless. The best film ever, as if I had to try it. It actually feels really good so far, so I will let you know how it holds up along the way. And by the way, why has it taken me so long to discover ColourPop eyeshadows? Like, I just, they are, like, out of this world. They're, like, they're from another world. Like, they're like, are they a cream? Are they a shat? Are they a powder? Are they a, I don't know. It's crazy, but just thought I would check in and I will give you an update on the lipstick. I'll Before I forget, yesterday I filmed my little photo shoot thing. It was my white t-shirt for women with full busts. Actually the, well the post went up like today, but you know, the day that I'm filming this. So it should actually be already up on my blog and which I'll actually leave the link to that below. But I want to give a shout out because I've mentioned it before when I mentioned my jogging bra earlier. like. I'm very full busted. It's natural. Like, I was born this way. I grew them myself. I wasn't born with them, although I had little baby boobies. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've always had them. And I know a lot of people think that when I talk about it, I'm bragging. I'm so not. Because if you are a woman who is, like, I'd say, I don't know, over, like, a double D, triple D or something, which I am well over, like, you know how difficult it is, like, with fashion. You get, like, attention that you don't want, but, like, the fashion community just completely ignores you. So I really want to turn my blog, like, especially fashion-wise, into a little bit of, like, a safe haven where women who are full or busted and basically, like, a, a place where women can go and, and learn fashion tips. So if you are full busted, I'd say, like, double D, triple D, or more, um, you know, leave me any, like, Q&A questions or anything you want or... Maybe like trends that you've been afraid to try that you want tips on how to dress for because I've been struggling in this my, with my whole life and you know even if it's not something I normally would wear and normally know how to style for a full bust like I would love the challenge of trying to figure out 
how to make it work. So check out my blog. You can leave a comment below. You can leave a comment on my blog. You can, you know, contact me on any social media. The links will be below because, you know, I mean, I think, you know, a lot of people don't tend to sympathize with women with full busts because they think, oh, whatever, you don't have any problems. But it's really difficult, actually, for us to find clothing and to look <laughs> clean and classy in clothing and not like automatically look like we're trying to like show off and stuff so I think it can be really tricky so I just kind of wanted to throw that out for anyone I've been posting about it here and there on social media but I just want to throw it out there so I want to connect if you know anyone or you are someone like that then seriously connect with me you know below or on social media and uh we'll talk final uh, lipstick update I just had lunch and uh, yeah it seems to have held up pretty well faded a little bit but seems to be okay so um, I actually think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now I kind of wish I had been doing stuff more exciting the last couple days but I've just been so swamped with work but I'm actually going to end this so I can start getting ready because this coming weekend I'm actually going to be staying in Cambridge, Mass, and in Harvard Square. I'm not actually staying in Harvard Square. That would be creepy. Um, but no, I am, I'm actually doing a comedy show in Cambridge, so I'm going to be vlogging the weekend. My boyfriend and I are going to be hanging out, and our first date was in Cambridge, even though neither one of us lives really near there, but it was. So we're going to try to go out to, like, you know, the bar we went to on our first date and, you know, kind of rekindle the romance. So hopefully I'll be vlogging then. So I just kind of wanted to wrap this up. If you guys enjoy this vlog, this is my first like just kind of day in the life vlog. If you guys enjoy this, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because, well, it'd make me happy. <laughs> it would. So uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.